What's up everybody? We're out here. We've got three moon bikes. These are electric snow bikes and we are going to go access a backcountry hut on these bikes. None of us have ridden these bikes before, so it's all going to be new. What is a moon bike, you may ask? Well, they're one of a kind. It's got a mono ski up front bolted to a mountain bike style fork. And in the back, it's got a 10 inch wide track which is powered by a single 72 volt battery, which we'll have two of, both of which are secured inside an electrically warmed battery compartment. When running both batteries, the moon bike weighs roughly 221 pounds. Pretty interesting. I'm, I'm really curious to see how these things work out. We're gonna be spending the night at an off-grid backcountry cabin that sits at an elevation over 11,000 feet. So we're loading all of our gear in this polka. Sleeping bags, food, and our typical inebriants. <laughs> it's just green in there. <laughs> we're going up to my buddy's hut called the Raven's Nest. Uh, it's a ways up there. The only way to get there is snowshoe, ski, or moon bike. So we're gonna give it a hell. Do a quick Avi beacon check. There's Colin. There he is. Yep. Beauty. You can go. I got the trailer. Let's hit it. Woo! Oh, man. I guess that was a little too deep. Come on, baby. Almost. It's nice that it's a lot lighter than the snowmobile. So there you have it. That was some really deep snow. Did not like that. All right, moon bikes are proving already that there's quite a bit of learning curve here. <laughs> I got stuck. I figured you did. All right, so don't touch the brake and the throttle at the same time. It just cut out on me. It was quick to realize that these machines operate unlike anything any of us have ridden. The OHV road we're taking to get up to the cabin has luckily seen enough sled traffic to pack in a solid base of hard snow. And the fresh eight inches of powder on top of that hard pack were probably the best conditions for these bikes that we could ask for. Not gonna lie, the photos don't do this justice. Nope. <laughs> this is such an awesome view. That's a thick door. Yes, it is. Or we have 30% battery left. 30% left. Yeah, I burned a little more because I pulled the polka up. But um, battery life has been actually pretty good considering how hard we've been riding. So yeah, definitely. Looking forward to seeing what else we can do tonight. Yeah. <laughs> now that we ditched all of our gear, we want to get back out on these things and go ride. So that's what we're going to go do.
<laughs> what happened, Douglas? I found a hole. <laughs> My first impressions were I'm a little unsure of these things. They're a little awkward. And they still kind of are, but now that we've gotten the hang of it and we're in some deeper snow, they are so much fun. They're a ton of fun. They're just like super quiet, which is an experience I've never had on snow before. You're always on like pretty loud two stroke, which I'm not saying that's not all so fun because it is, but where we are right now, these things are awesome. It's pretty pristine out here and having that quiet is makes it that much cooler. The name of the game on these two is wide open. Yeah, wide open for the sure. The only way to be in control is wide open. Go for it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And for the record, you're talking to two gearheads here. I know you guys hear from me a lot on the channel, but this guy loves gas motors, so. Yep, I like to rip like the best of them. Yeah. As long as I can go fast, we're gonna do it. <laughs> So this cabin we're at is completely off the grid, which means there is no running water. Despite the temperature reading in the single digits, there's a spring-fed water source up above us that we can utilize to get some fresh water. All right, we're going to get water. Deep. Oh, all right. <laughs> we just had to dig down these poles here, indicate a freshwater spring that we have access to. Here we are, ready to drink. Beauty. Beauty. All right, let's go drop that thing off and go for a ride. With our chores out of the way, we took the moon bikes on a night mission. Overall reaction, moon bike. Give me it right now. Dude, snowmobile trails in the powder, in the tight stuff. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I feel like they really shine in that stuff. Yeah, we're just rolling, popping around, banging off the banks. It's so much fun. Oh, man. That's too fun. Why are we still here? Whee! There was some clear apprehension going into this trip. Claimed range by the manufacturer and actual real world range are often two very different numbers. And we were a little weary to test that in the backcountry during a snowstorm. But our experience is that these things are actually pretty incredible in the battery life department. We were able to squeeze almost two hours of ride time per battery. And that was in sport mode, riding flat out with eight inches of fresh snow to cut through. The power was plenty for this type of riding that we were doing, especially when we got into the tight trails at night. It became obvious that the short track on these bikes are living their best life when there's a packed base to dig into. Whenever we dip off into the real deep stuff, the bikes didn't seem to handle it with ease. 
And that's okay, because I see these bikes thriving around mountain town environments, ski resorts, and the endless miles of groomed snowmobile trails across the northern United States. Some updates that I think moon bikes could do to make these bikes better are simple. Some wider handlebars would go a really long way in changing the stance of these bikes. The narrow bars made all of us feel like we couldn't get into the attack position when trying to hold the bikes over on edge. Secondly, removing the brake sensors would allow for some more manipulation in turns. It's the first thing that we remove on all of our electric dirt bikes, and we would do the same with the moon bikes. Being able to load up the throttle by applying some brake before a turn would do wonders for keeping speed consistent. Are they going to replace your turbocharged, two-stroke, long-track mountain sled? Not a chance. And to be clear, that's not what Moon Bikes is aiming to do either. They call these snow bikes for a reason. They're fun, lightweight, and silent toys. And fun is the key word here. Thanks to the Moon Bikes, we had a damn good time on this trip.